I love Brent Suter. Like, just from a personal thing, he's, like, one of my favorite players in baseball. Uh, and one surprising thing was, uh, you know, they're such a – they're an organization that's so good with pitchers, but they uh, they cut Phil Bickford, who was, like, doing terrible. Dodgers. Oh, with the broad like, Dodgers, like, yeah. Like, that's so like, funny. Yeah, the Dodgers are insane. But, um, no, I, I do think they have – they have some really good pieces. Yelich is having a good year. I, he's not the eight war player, one seventy WRC plus player that he was uh, a couple seasons ago. That's fair. He's been yeah. having some back problems, uh, but he's still getting on base a ton. He's got a three ninety nine on base percentage. He's, uh, he's wow. got a one sixteen WRC plus. So you know it, the power numbers haven't really been there. So yeah. Maybe the juice ball had something to do with that, but. And probably some of his back issues could be affecting his swing. But, you know, he's still a good player. Omar Narvaez, I think he's establishing himself as, like, a top-five catcher in baseball. Wow. He, uh, he's been really good at the plate. When He's always been a solid hitter. Mm -hmm. But where he's really made so many strides is defensively. And if you know me, I think defense is very important for catchers. And he pretty much overnight from 2019 to 2020 went from a terrible framer to one of the better framers in baseball. Yeah. And that's really important to me. And that's, I think that's something that's really interesting about catching framing is how late in their careers catchers develop it. Like I think JT Real Muto, probably a prime example of that. But he's been really good. Uh, I think there is potential in the lineup. I do want to see them add a bat or two. Yeah, I I'm agree. I'm just not sure how much I trust it. But I think if they can make some good moves at the deadline, they could make some noise in the playoffs, but they'll need to add an impact bat or two. Just yeah. Unaware on that. Yeah, no, that's I totally agree with that. Um I mean I, I yeah, I mean that top three is just is so good. Um with Woodruff, I mean, really established him himself as a top ten starter, I think, this season. Um, and Burns is is right there with him. Um, I don't think he's top ten, but he's really good. And then you got Peralta. In terms of the bullpen, I guess to ask you, you know, you have Hader. Devin Williams is still good. He hasn't been as good this season. I thought Brad Boxberger would have a better season than he's having. Um, what do you think about their bullpen? And do you think it was a mistake to give up Rasmussen and Fireheisen for uh, for Willie Adames? Um, obviously, they benefited from having uh, Willie Adames, but did you think maybe they could have went somewhere else to, for acquiring him? So I, I actually like what I've seen from Boxberger. Yeah, he's got he's got some good numbers. He he's got decent numbers. Yeah, two eighty seven ERA. Uh, Underlying metrics aren't quite that good, but he's been good. Yeah, that's that's um, what I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. Um, I honestly didn't really follow the trade much. The, the mm -hmm. problem with the Brewers for me is that I just don't really care about them. So, <laughs> like, it's going to sound bad as, like, an MLB guy, but yeah. I don't know. I, I kind of haven't really taken them that seriously. Uh, but... Yeah, you know, any offensive improvement is good. I still think they have good pieces in their bullpen. Uh, I'm not concerned about their bullpen in any way. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, no, that's our that's our wrap on the Brewers. Um, I guess the last team, real quick, we'll talk about National League is the Nats. Um, I want to have six teams, you know, just because um, that's how many make the playoffs, right, with wild card. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, we can talk about the Nats. Um so, I guess real quick with the Nats, um, uh, so basically, I think that they, it was a mis, how do I put this? I think they really, um, undersold, they kind of overestimated how good they were in terms of how they approached this offseason, if they considered themselves a contender. Um, I think that just adding Schwarber, even though he's had a really good season, just adding Schwarber and who else did they add in the off season? Because I'm what I'm I trying to say. Brad Hand. Yeah, Brad Hand. But brother. just adding those guys didn't make them a um, a World Series 
you know, a playoff team, actually. Um, yeah, and I, John Lester, that yeah. made their team worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was that was not a good, not a good signing. Um, but they they didn't do enough to make their team good enough to be a a, a playoff. Um, a playoff team. I thought they should have signed Michael Brantley. I know they were interested in him. Boy, would that have helped their team a lot more. Um, there were ways they could have approved their team, and they they didn't. Um, and because of that, I don't think they're going to make the playoffs. Um, so what do you think about the Nats, Michael? Um, obviously, you know, they've, they've had – They've had serviceable starting pitching. I don't know. I mean, Corbin's been a disappointment, I think. I think he's underperformed. Max has been good, as always. Yeah, um, but, yeah, he's he's not been great. Yeah. Um, and then Strasburg, I mean, he's injured all the time. What's new? Um, and their bullpen has been all right. I mean, Hand has been, like, okay, I guess. Um, Hudson's been pretty good. He's been a, a bright spot. Um, but overall, what do you think about the Nats, Michael? Yeah, I just don't think they really have the pieces to contend with some of the better teams in the division. Um, you know, you got Soto, who's having a, I'm going to put this in quotes, a down year. He's still been a very good player. Yeah. Trey Turner is establishing himself as a top shortstop in baseball. I mean, he might be uh, number Schwarber two. Schwarber yeah. was really hot. But, you know, it's just, it's not, it's not a super complete team. There are just a lot of holes. And I don't think it's, even if you go out and get a few big names at the deadline, like heck, even a Chris Bryant, right? You want to fit that their infield's just been such a disaster. Uh, you know, like I'm still not sure that just pushes the team over the edge. Yeah. And I think I think uh, trying to buy players at the deadline is going to be a mistake. You know, you've lost out on like Anthony Rendon. I you can't trust uh, Strasburg to stay healthy. Scherzer's a free agent after this season. I think you really have two like franchise players in uh, Turner and Soto, and after that, it's not really like pieces for a championship caliber team. Yeah, and you don't have a great farm system. I think that's time you got to say, all right, we're going to cut our losses, enjoy twenty nineteen, and we're going to try to restart this. We're going to build around Soto. We're going to build around Turner, around Cavalli, around Brady House, around Jackson Rutledge. Mm -hmm. uh, and it seems yeah. that that's just not what they're doing. And I don't think that's smart. I don't think it's going to pay off for them. But uh, we'll see. They've had bad, bad, uh, bad starts in the past, and it ended up working well, as they will never shut up about. So <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll see for sure. Um, I'm really interested to see um, what they do, um, because for me – if I had to give any advice to them, I would say don't let your big contracts um, let you make the decision, right? Don't be like, oh, well, we have Strasburg under contract for like five more years, which means we're a contender every year we have him, so we should buy at this year's deadline. You know what I mean? That's not the way yeah. to approach it. Um, it's about looking at your team and saying, I just think, I mean, I agree with you. I think the, the shopping list is just way too big to make this team, you know, a, a legit contender. Um, it's just, it, it's too many holes and too many pieces. And I know you want it as a Mets fan to, for them to, you know, make these moves at the deadline because they're yeah, going to have to give up a lot funny. of team. They're going to have to give up a lot of stuff if they're going to, you know, try to contend for the playoffs in the world series um if they want to be a team that's as good as other teams in the national league they're gonna have to kind of destroy the farm and yeah. that would be really funny because i like making fun of how bad their farm is <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> you're gonna have to get bryant you're gonna have to get another starter you're gonna have to get a bullpen arm and maybe even another bat i mean that's four things and that's gonna cost a lot of prospects and a lot of a lot of equity, um, and it wouldn't be smart if they did that. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up um, for the National League. I think we're going to do the American League at another time, um, as well as the draft video. Um, so thanks for listening, guys. Appreciate it, um, and uh, see you.